Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to do a few stretches for building this morning because we're getting out there and going to build our small house. So we're going to start on a windowsill, on a wall, on the back of the couch. Hands are about shoulder width apart. And you're stretching down like this. You can soften the knees a little bit here. I'm slowly opening through my shoulders. I'm going to turn my head and move my head a little bit. Perhaps inhale it up with the body like this, lift the tail, exhale and scoop and curve the spine a little. Inhale and open and exhale. It's really good. I've got quite a grip on the window, so it actually really helps. Moving the spine as you breathe in and out. Just opening the body slowly. And then coming back to a sort of a stillness and have a go with straightening the legs, straightening and bending the legs. So you can bend and straighten here and really opening up. And one more breath. And let's slowly come up. Oh, and just release those arms going to take the hands behind the back and just open up here too. Open the chest, lifting up, trying to pull those arms away from the back if you can. Really opening the whole shoulder area, throat, chin. Then tucking the chin, keep those hands lifted for a little longer. Really simple way to open and one more breath here. Keep those hands lifting, then release and let the arms just swing. And already your shoulders and chest will feel a lot more open. Coming back to this area here, I'm going to step the right foot forward and the left foot back now. Same opening through the shoulders, but this time I'm getting a fab fabulous stretch down the right leg. So if you feel it too intensely behind the knee, then don't straighten it completely, that right knee. Just allow it, now keep pulling the right hip back to be even with the left. So both waists feel as long as each other. So we're stretching and opening through the shoulder blades once again and really stretching through that right leg. For two more breaths. Soften the knee to slowly come up and swap the legs over. Take the left one forward and the right one back. And stretching out this way. Oh, opening again through those shoulders. Really lengthening here because you've got that right leg back. Pull the tailbone back and push back into that right leg. And you're stretching forward over that front left leg. Opening through the whole spine and back of the body here as well. Two more breaths. Soften that front knee to slowly come back up and give those arms a bit of a shake out. Okay, now we're going to interlock the fingers again and take them up behind. Change which fingers on top though from what you had last time. Feet are going to be comfortably apart. And we're going to roll down into a hang. So we're going to roll down slowly, carefully down. Knees are a bit soft. And I'm pulling the arms away from the body this time and into a stronger stretch. So my head can really release here. Knees are a bit soft to start with. You're letting your arms go further away from the back on every exhalation. So breathe in and as you breathe out, allow those arms to go further and allow your legs to perhaps straighten a little as well so it's quite an intense stretch we've warmed up a little bit for this but just be aware of your body two more breaths then let the arms hang down and feel that amazing looseness through the upper body and neck. And we're going to carefully come down onto all fours. We're going to keep moving the body. 
So we're going to open through the hips a little bit here now and I want to open through the shoulders a bit more too because we're going to be using our upper bodies today and we're going to be climbing ladders so we need lots of um, work. So opening up through that right hip now. I'm twisting the hips but I'm keeping the shoulders quite square. And then let's swing it across to the opposite elbow and contract the belly. Inhale and open it up. Exhale and contract. Inhale and open. That's it. Exhale and contract. And again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and hold it open. And then we're going to extend it out. But we're going to come onto our side. So I'm going to pop that foot down, that right foot. Shift your left foot backwards and open up through the right arm. So we're into a beautiful side stretch and you can really exaggerate this and push into the right foot and bring the right arm over your head. And you can play around with opening up to the ceiling a little more with that top body. Breathing in and out. Really opening. One more breath here. Fabulous side stretch this one. And then we're going to come into a core strength where we lift the leg off the ground then we're going to slowly bend the leg and see if we can reach back and grab hold of the foot and push it into your hand. So it stretches through the front of your thigh and leg and hip. A little bit of a balance challenge here. See how you go for two more breaths. Keep pushing the foot back into the hand. I've got hold of it. I'm really getting that thigh muscle active. And then releasing right down. And we're going to keep working with that right leg and step it forward on the outside of your hands and then coming down into a nice deep opening, bending into the elbows and coming down into what I call the lizard stretch and you can lift the back knee off the ground there. Breathing into here. Two more breaths. And then pop the back knee down and come up. Then come up more vertical. Keep that right hand on the inside of the leg and open up your left arm and we'll wrap it around our back. So we're really opening that left shoulder again and turning that neck. Breathing into here and as you've got the right arm and right leg connected, you can feel that twist, that pressure of the arm and leg pushing against each other to twist the body. And one more breath. And releasing it back down. Coming on to all fours again. Let's do the other side now. So we're going to open up that left leg, really open that hip. Inhale, then exhale, swing it across to the opposite elbow, just contract it through. Inhale and open up that hip. Exhale and contract and curve the spine. Inhale and open and exhale and contract. Inhale, open. Exhale. One more time. Inhale and open. Exhale and contract. Then we're going to open that leg again, straightening it out and popping it down onto the floor, shifting the right foot back and opening up onto a side stretch here. So I'm resting on my right arm or my right hand and knee and really giving this body an opening, pushing up into my left hip, pressing into my left foot, extending into my left arm. Two more wonderful breaths here. Then preparing for lifting the leg and arm a little and slowly bending the foot to reach the hand. Push that left foot into your hand and stretching through the front of the thigh in your balance. Continuing to breathe. to release all the way down and stepping that left leg forward on the outside of the arms. 
coming down into the lizard stretch. Nice deep lunge and you can soften the elbows or bend right down into them. And option is to have that back knee off the ground to make this stronger. Opening through those hips, legs, ready for climbing ladders. <laughs> Two more breaths. You can pop the back knee down as you slowly come up. I've got my left hand in close to my leg. It's a bit more vertical, that shin. And I open up my right arm and I'm going to wrap it around my back. Pull back that right shoulder and turn the head a little more. A couple more breaths. One more breath. And gently releasing out. Beautiful. Okay, let's do one more stretch for the upper body. I want to get those arms going again. Open the right arm and we're going to thread it through. Really thread it through and then inhale and open it up again. Open and thread. Ready for the morning here. Ready for hammering, ready for sawing, drilling. Stretch it through. Opening shoulders. One more. We're going to stay down on this one. So come right down onto your side and keep this left hand on the ground and push back into the left shoulder and you get that fabulous stretch between the shoulder blades, really opening up the body there. Finding your breath. For two more breaths. And slowly coming all the way back onto all fours. Let's go straight into the other side. So taking that left arm up and threading it through. I'm bending into my right elbow, so I'm getting some strength as well there. Open up again. Open and exhale and bend and thread that arm through. Inhale up and thread. We're going to do one more. And up. So you're rotating the body there, getting mobility through that upper back and we're coming right down and staying down now. So come on to the side of the body and side of the head. And I've got my right hand on the ground and I'm pushing back that right shoulder, getting that lovely movement, and twisting, extra stretching through the shoulder blades. Two more breaths. And coming all the way up and right up and onto your knees. So we're here. I'm just going to do a few little breaths for the shoulders here. So bringing the hands onto the shoulders. Keep your knees at least hips width so you don't lose your balance in this one. And we're going to rotate, getting that spine going. It could be quite strong, so just... Feel where you're at with this today. Just trying to get some mobility into the back of the body. Let the breath happen, just come out. It's actually nice, you can pump the breath if you like. Gets the lungs going. Three. Two, one, and releasing out. Okay, taking up that right arm, one more, taking hold, pulling that elbow across, so you're getting that upper up tricep stretch, and you can lean the body a little bit as well, so it's another side stretch here. But it's not just a side stretch, it's opening up the rib cage, which helps your lungs and helps your breathing. Because you want to be effective and efficient in your breathing as well. If you're holding your breath or it's tight, you lose your energy faster. <clears throat> as if you're breathing better, your energy is better. You can maintain it for longer. So let's swap those arms over. And 
pull it across and only lean up away from it if you're comfortable. But you want to feel it in the back of this upper arm here and right through the side of the body there too. Okay, one more breath. And releasing out. Oh, I should feel a whole lot better on those stretches now. And even just turn the head more freely. And you're a lot more ready for your day of building. <laughs>